Hey, I'm Bill Kleinitz, and today we're going to be applying our blueberry paste wax with an orbital. Now, I know a lot of people understand that the paste wax provides a long-lasting protection, but it can also be a little bit of uh, time-consuming to apply and to remove. So today, our, our, what we're trying to do is give you another option for application that might speed up the application process and um, you know, make it fit into your time frame a little bit better. So now I'm gonna apply the wax. And one, one important part is make sure that you're working with like a polish pad, uh, something really, really soft. You don't wanna mar the surface at all while you're applying your wax. Otherwise, all your paint correction and everything prior to this was kind of a waste. So soft, clean pad. And I'm just gonna take it. Now I don't break the back of this, but I will just kind of bend it a little bit. And I'll make sure that I kind of coat the whole surface of it. And I'm not overloading it because you don't want too much product on the surface of the panel. Otherwise, it makes the cleanup more difficult. So you just need a little bit of this kind of evenly distributed across the face of the pad. And then once I've got that, I'm going to apply to my buffer. Line it up the best I can. Plop it on there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make sure our buffer is turned all the way down to one. Pad is centered on the backing plate. We're going to watch our cord so we're not dragging it across the other panels and everything. And we're simply just going to apply the wax. Like I said, we're looking for full coverage. I'm going to start at the center and work my way over here. So as you can see, I didn't sit there, I'm not compounding or buffing, and I actually went really slow because I wanted you to see exactly what I'm doing. There's no speed, there's no pressure involved at all. Um, all you wanna do, like I said, is look for this full coverage. And actually, the thinner it is, the easier the cleanup's gonna be, and you're only gonna get so much to bond to that surface anyways. So you wanna make sure you're not over applying. You don't ever wanna see like a milky buildup where you've got edges to what you're putting on because that's gonna be a harder area to, to remove. Um, if you're outside, you know, if I work from here and go all the way around the car and I'm outside in the dead of sun, this is going to be really hard to remove, uh, just like any wax would be. So, you know, go do a panel or two at a time, come back, wipe off, keep going. So at this point, you can see that our, our wax here is all hazed and ready to be buffed off. Um, and it's kind of flashed. You've got a little bit of a chalky look to it. It's perfect. All right, let's just buff off our product now. And you can see by keeping it nice and thin, this is, a, this is a paste wax, right? I am not fighting to remove this product. You know, and the more you have to fight, the more chance you run of you know, adding a mar or scratching the surface that you're working on. So this is definitely my preferred method if I'm gonna be using like a, a paste wax of any, any shape or form. Um, I even use this for our liquid paste waxes, to be honest with you. So in general, when I'm applying a paste wax or even a liquid paste wax, I'm gonna use our orbital, the 3401 or even the three inch. Uh, I don't use the rotary to apply any waxes or anything like that, and I, I really don't recommend it just because I feel like there's a little bit too much of an opportunity to induce a swirl or a scratch. So this is how I like to apply paste wax and even liquid paste wax. Um, one of the benefits to this is, you know, I can do in a whole car in under 20 minutes. That's application and buffing it off. Um, you know, so for production, it's a really, really great option. It's fast, it's simple, and it de delivers a long-lasting result. So to your customers, that's a lot of value. 